A massive undertaking now ongoing to help get communities back to normal. 8,600 homes and businesses affected, 48 miles of pipeline to evaluate. Dozens of crews will be out over the coming weeks inspecting homes and appliances to assess what was damaged and what needs to be replaced. At this staging facility in North Andover, crews are gathering supplies like the 7,000 hot plates that will soon be handed out to people so they can make meals. Another 24,000 space heaters will also be installed in homes deemed safe enough for them. It is going so super fast, just so you know. And this claim center in North Andover also busy today, but moving along. We just came out, um, file claim that we, we lost what we had. Business and homeowners can come here with receipts and be reimbursed. There's still a lot of people that are, you know, disgruntled and displaced and, you know, I think everyone just needs to have a little more understanding that it's a rough situation. For many, like Natalia Callas, cooking on their stoves has not been an option since the blasts. It was really scary. Um, you could see the columns of the smoke coming up from the um, South Lawrence, North Andover area and four helicopters and nobody knew what was going on for a little while until, you know, you just get the phone call, evacuate, turn off your gas, get out. But like so many in these communities, she is focusing on the positives through all of this. We know that our first responders, Governor Baker, everyone worked so hard for us. So we just wanted to put up a little sign to say thank you. And Columbia Gas will be reaching out to those people whose homes they need to get into to set up appointments so they can begin those assessments. The governor reiterating that those people will be wearing white ID badges, so look for that when they come into your homes. Live in Lawrence, Massachusetts, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.